hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if today is your first time of passing by my channel thank you and welcome to our family in this page in this channel we'll talk about immigration asylum we just family love and every other thing so if today is your first time of seeing my video kindly hit the red notification button down and subscribe subscription is free just subscribe and hit the red notification button so that anytime i upload new video you'll be the first one first person to get notified here i talk family i talk immigration like i said and i do gossip what I have this afternoon is family stroke gossip. Yes. Okay, I have this thing to discuss and to ask and your opinion too for her. She needs her opinion on how to handle this matter. After telling you this story, I want you to tell me if she needs to go and apologize as the family of her husband have requested. Okay, she said they both live in abroad, America to be precise, and her sister in laws also lives in America with them, but in different states, you know. And their parents have the opportunity of coming abroad always, always. So it's as good as if the all of her, the, um, the husband's family lives in america with them she said the issue is that her husband is just inconsiderate she even said her husband is wicked and i told her not to use that word she said when she when she says the man is wicked he is actually wicked she understands that so and i asked her what has she done what is it that you think is doing and why do you think the family why why is it that the family asks you to come and apologize to them for saying what you said she said her husband is a night roller it come he comes in late every day and he closes from work 5 p.m she says her husband is stingy when she means stingy that her husband is stingy that her husband cannot even buy something for himself she said he leaves every responsibility in the house for her alone and they both lives in america she said he's always looking into the money that the government gives to the children that he calculates the children's money like this and then she thinks that it's not normal so she calls the other sister that lives in america too and every time she calls the husband sister that lives in america and tell her ah until see what my husband has done no the, the husband sister will tell her please shut up there are women in africa that are looking for this kind of opportunity for a man to bring them abroad you know that the husband sister will lash her and lash her and lash her and when she calls the husband's mother and tell him say please just manage it there are many women that want my child to bring them to abroad you are lucky so anything is doing that you should manage it she said they are five years in this marriage now already. I mean, I think five years is still too early to start thinking of leaving your marriage. If I'm right, if I'm wrong, please do. <laughs> so she said the husband's family are always in support of him. Anytime she complains, especially the eldest of the sisters, that she's always, in fact, before she finishes saying what she wants to say, the woman would have returned it 10 times. She doesn't allow him, her to say anything on this day she became so fed up of all the situation and then she told the man that now we are ending this thing called marriage we are ending it now and then this time she did not even call the husband sister she did not call the husband mother she just made up her mind and said we are ending this thing right now and then now and then the husband's sister, the husband called the sister and then the sister called her that. So she asked the God to say she wants to end the relationship, that it was her husband that used the mo his own money to bring her to abroad. Now because she's in abroad, she cannot bear just simple suffering. Simple suffering, that's, that's what she said 
her husband's elder sister told her simple suffering that she wants to be behaving like the wife a broad wife that now she has she because she has a document she's working now she thinks she has the right i'm coming my camera is shaking that she thinks she has the right to talk back at their brother and to the extent of her thinking of ending the marriage that she must be stupid you know she said the mother-in-law now called her that um that that day the mother-in-law spoke well that the mother-in-law that said okay she's coming to america she should wait in the house then when they come that this time around she's coming back with their father that with the father-in-law and then this time around that they are going to try to settle it and then they are going to try to know how the bills will be paid and everything so she stayed back in the house and this thing that she's talking about that the mother-in-law did not come back did not come to america till after three months so she stayed she still managed the the trauma in the in the marriage for the rest three months before the mother-in-law came and so when the mother in excuse me when the mother-in-law came the other sister came the younger sister came the brothers came they all live in america they all came to the house and when they were discussing the other sister started shouting and yelling at her you know that she's an ingrate that she cannot manage simple um um you know misunderstanding in marriage that if her husband is not giving her money she should manage it like that that what does she need money for that the sister started yelling at her and then she got so mad and angry and she now told the elder sister that this thing that you have said and this thing i am passing through in this marriage all um no she said this thing i'm passing through in this marriage and this thing that your brother is doing to me your daughters that are going to get married will get the same husband the same character of my husband that is the kind of husband that god will give to your children that the elder sister got so angry and started saying she cursed her please did, did she curse her she, for me she didn't curse her she just gave her back what she deserved and for me that is not cause since the elder sister feel her brother is good enough to maltreat her the way she's doing so she should be ready for her children to have to have same kind of husband too so she hasn't cost her she hasn't done anything wrong for me i think she hasn't done anything wrong so now the mother-in-law was there the father-in-law was there when she said it and they all got angry now why would she say the elder sister's daughter will get a husband like their child you can see wickedness. For me, that is wickedness. They all know that their child is bad. They all know that their brother is misbehaving. But they still want this woman to remain in this abusive marriage. And now, because the woman now returning back to sender, as in, you know, let me use that Yoruba word, dakpada, for them. She do, she dakpada for them. Now they are saying that she's cursing them. And now she has to come and beg the family for cursing them and in their family any wife that does that will have to buy drink will have to cook and then the pound and them that will have to eat will be done with mortar i say in abroad i don't know why people that bring women to abroad sometimes uh, tend to treat them like slave because you think your family according to what she said the family is rich that the the, the the family they are politicians in nigeria and things like that that they are rich and they think that because they've brought in another woman from another family another level of family to marry them they have to treat her like a nobody for me it is a no for me she doesn't have any apology to make for me they need to make to tender apology to her because they actually know that that their brother is a spoiled brat and then they want her to continue to manage their, their spoiled child with, for them. The child that they could not manage before she married him. Now they want her to be managing their spoiled child for him, for them. For me, it is a no. For me, it is a no for me. For me, it is a no. But I don't know if I am too, uh, if I'm being too, um, I don't know. If, if, if I'm taking this thing too personal. For her to come and tender apology for her saying that the elder sister's children will marry the same kind of husband that their brother is and they think she has cursed them and she has to cook a goosey soup that has seed 
with bush meat inside and then with wine and then she will come and appease the gods like say something they worry now for head you all know that your brother is bad in america because she people brought her to abroad she has become a slave for you people i think people need help i think you need help i don't know my viewers if i'm taking this thing too personal but i need to say this they need to apologize to you your family people needs to apologize to you i don't know that thing that used to the, this family and in-law people used to have in their brain that if when they bring a wife to their home the wife have to be their slave what nonsense they need to apologize to you my sister you need to read the comments to be in the comment section to read the comments of um, my subscribers and then you can choose for me i don't think you are they are the one that need to apologize to you because they already know that their brother is bad they know that their brother is a spoiled brat know that their brother doesn't even deserve a woman like you but because they feel that your own family is not up to their uh, when it comes to wealth and riches their family is rich and yours is not you know so they think they can you know bring it to your brother and treat you like a slave i'm sure they even married you for him because i'm sure the kind of the way you describe your husband is not a responsible man at all because no responsible man will leave the responsibility of his home for only his wife to take care of. No responsible man will leave the responsibility of his children for only his wife to take care of. No responsible man will leave the bills in the house for only his wife to take care of. What nonsense! I'm getting angry. I don't want to get so angry about this matter, you know. My subscribers, please advise her. My advice for me... You don't need to apologize but i don't know what my subscribers will ask for you so go through the comment section and read their comment and then choose the one that you that you think you need there for me no apology from my side thank you for always passing by and if today is your first time subscribe to my channel up my channel to grow now subscription is free 100 percent free and hit the red notification button so that anytime I upload new video, you'll be the first person to get notified. Thank you for always passing by. And always pass here for odd story and all gist. Here we'll do gossip, we'll do gist, we'll do immigration, we'll do asylum, we'll do family and love. So all, when you need to cool yourself, when you need advice, when you need to laugh, you know, come here. Let's give it to you. Thank you for passing by and thank you for watching this. I'll be waiting in the comment section and I know she'll also be waiting in the comment section to read what you have to tell her. Please, read. I mean, write. Watch. Drop your opinion. And then, tomorrow I'll be on live by 4 p.m. for tomorrow's program. Today is 23rd. Tomorrow is 24th. So tomorrow I'll be on live um, program. I have a hot topic to discuss tomorrow. So kindly join me tomorrow by 4 p.m. Let's discuss the issue. Thank you. Subscribe to my channel now. Bye.